This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today I want to talk to you about these two knives right here. These are Kaiser Sheepdogs. Obviously we have the full size one. This is an S35 VN steel. The smaller one is in VG10. Um, really cool looking knives. I like them for an EDC knife. The question I first had when I got them was, other than the cool looks, are they actually functional as knives? Whether it's you know an EDC knife or an outdoor knife. Some people call the larger maybe a tactical knife. Not so sure if I think that's the case, but nonetheless, how functional is this style of blade? The cool factor is high, is the function, functionality high as well. So let's, uh, let's talk through some of the details, show you what they look like up close and personal, and then we're gonna put them through the paces and try to answer that question together. All right, let's start with the smaller one here, and we'll first start off by weighing it. So put it on the scale there, 3.215 ounces, so 3.22 ounces, we'll say. Um, that's the weight of it. What I'm gonna do now is roll in some of the stats uh, that you can find on their website as far as blade length, handle length, all those different types of things. Let's talk about this knife in particular. So G10 handle, this is from the Vanguard series from Kaiser, which is uh, their more affordable end. So you're, you're talking usually, you know, high hundreds up to over $200 for a lot of their um, other knives. The Vanguard series is just more affordable. So this one's gonna run you around 70 bucks, give or take, depending on where you, uh, depending on where you pick it up. So, um, you know, what stands out? I think for me, when I saw this smaller version, I thought they did exactly what people asked for, which is people said, I really like the Sheepdog, but can you make a smaller version that's just too large for me? And so they went with, uh, they went with this one coming in at just over three ounces. That's definitely, you know, quite manageable for an EDC knife. There's a quick comparison of the two so you can see what they actually look like side by side. I mean, if you put this one, align this one up, maybe tip to tip here. Yeah, I mean, so you can see there, it's it's obviously, you know, significantly, significantly smaller, shorter, and lighter. And we've weighed the, uh, the Vanguard version, but let me put this here, and we're going to weigh the original version here. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty much double the weight, and so six ounces versus three ounces. So that's why, you know, I think a lot of people wanted the smaller version of the, uh, of the Sheepdog, just because they that uh, this original one was just too big for them. They wanted something that was a little bit sleeker, and this one definitely is. Let's give you a quick end-to-end -end here of the knife. I have a swedge up there on the top. All the sheepdogs have this little divot in the front as well. Got that cool, I think that's a, called a bolster, right? Isn't that what it's called? Around the uh, pivot there. Texture G10. To show you that the hand or the um, pocket clip is going to be tip up only and right hand carry. Come back the other way here. When I first got this and I saw CO1C, I thought, oh my goodness, did I get the first one available on the market? But that's that's just something having to do with the uh, with the sheepdog um, design that's on all the sheepdogs. Let me fold this up here. And then deployment and my test is always you know can I hold it straight up and down and flick it and still have it deploy and it definitely it definitely deploys very very smoothly so this knife does have a ball bearing pivot that's one of the reasons it's going to open so smoothly stainless steel for your uh, for your liner there it is a liner lock lockup is really nice on this one sometimes you get a liner that you know sort of sort of uh, lines up well when it uh, when it's locked in, but this thing is, I mean, that's really solid. I have no concerns about that guy ever, ever accidentally closing when I don't want it to. G10 is gonna be good as far as giving you control of the knife. It is, um, I don't use the word, I try not to use the word grippy that often, it just seems like kind of a weird word, but um, anyhow, it is, it is quite grippy. It, uh, it's got some good texture there. It's not overkill for your hand. It's not like it's really going to hurt. But, um, and that's what it looks like. My hands are large size, so when you actually hold it in your hand, your pinky is kind of falling off the edge. But the worst is when I think your pinky is like stuck right in the middle. This is actually like commit three fingers, and then that last one locks in there. And then obviously if you, you, know, you choke up like this, you're going to get a different kind of grip on it. But generally this is how I'm going to hold it. My pinky is pretty much off the edge. 
All right, let's talk about the original version here. 3.25 inches for the blade, 4.5 for the handle, so 7.75 from end to end. Titanium handle, this one is a frame lock, as you can see. Like I said before, S35VN for your steel. And let me give you an end-to-end -end look here. So again, nice, nice pivot there. They put a lot of little accents here together, you know, even your hardware, which I think is really nice. This one also tip up only right hand. Coming back the other way here. And then let me put this one down and put the other one right next to it again, just so you can kind of take a look and compare the two. Another thing about this OD Vanguard version is that you can get it in OD, you can get it in kind of a light blue, and then also in black as well. So you had a couple different options for that style of the uh, of the Sheepdog. Here's a look at the smaller one actually in my pocket, so you can see what that looks like. And then taking it out, which is exactly what I was going to mention, the clip is quite tight. So you got to really grab a hold of it to take it out and deploy it. So there it is deployed. And I have found, just because I haven't been uh, EDCing this this guy a ton, is that it's that clip is definitely it's snug, which is good. If you got a pair of pants that are really light material, that may this may beat it up a little bit, but I will tell you that it comes snug, which I'd prefer that as opposed to it being, you know, really flimsy or loose. So there's the uh, there's the smaller version. Here's a look at the larger version. This clip is I would again I wouldn't call it loose, but it's not um, it's not as much work to get this one on. So take it out, deployment. And then putting it away. This one's a little bit easier to do, and I found the other one. You really gotta, you gotta like hold your pocket tight, pull the other, pull the uh, clip out. But again, this this one's a little bit easier. You definitely feel the difference in the weight. You know, basically three ounces up to six ounces. Definitely, you're, you're feeling the difference when you're carrying the full size sheepdog. All right, let's put the smaller one to use. We're just gonna cut some cardboard here, and I'm gonna do this on camera so you can see what it looks like, and then I'm gonna EDC both of these for a while more. Um, so it's not just like a one-time test, but then I can report and let you know how, they, uh, how they've how they been working as an EDC, EDC knives. But let's talk about functionality here. Just got some cardboard. I can tell you one of the first things I thought about is that tip. Like, is that going to be good enough for piercing? But you saw, definitely does the job. Comes nice and sharp. I'll try some rope here. So one thing to note is just because it's a it's a bigger you know a bigger blade as far as your width, but it's not super long. So just be aware that your length of pull is not super long. And when you know you're trying to cut like this, it's hard to a little bit hard to get that thick blade in there or wide blade in there. But it certainly does the job. Yeah, this thing came. Really nice and sharp. See if we can do two here. This is gonna be washed out a little bit on camera, I bet, but this is, uh, it's plastic, but it's definitely a hard plastic, so just see about the, yeah, cutting power, but no problem. Pierces nicely. I mean, it definitely, it definitely does the job. So I can tell you, I was a little bit concerned about how well it's going to function. I mean, it certainly looks cool, but is it going to work well? And yeah, it's, it's doing the job for sure. All right, here's the big dog now.
Now this one's obviously bigger, but you're also gonna get more length to pull on that blade just because it's longer. So that's an advantage. And I will tell you, man, this thing, when I hold it, that's like, I really feel like I got really good control of it. Let's double this over and try that. Yep, no problem. There's three. Yep, definitely no problem. Some of that hard plastic again here on this iced tea bottle. Yeah, piercing in is a little bit harder with this just because the it's just a little thicker. But I can tell you, man, when I when I hold that thing, I'm like, I feel like I have really good control of it. That that uh handle, the shape of it, just locks in really nice. Now, I would not consider either of these a woods knife. Like, I wouldn't put this in my pocket and head out into the woods for a day of bushcrafting. But let's see how it does, at least carving a little bit of wood here. Now, let's try it with the little dog here. So just messing around here a little bit more. I definitely am not thinking about this knife as my woods knife that I'm gonna go into the woods and make a feather stick, strike a fire seal. But that being said, you can see certainly does some, does some work there. It is functional. So yeah, like I said before, the question in my mind was not, are they cool looking? They're definitely cool looking, but are they functional? As you saw on camera, they definitely both worked. Now, I prefer not to do just a, you know, three minute test on camera, you know, honed into two and a half minutes of footage and then go, yeah, these are great knives. Um, so let me EDC these for a bit and then I'll come back and report in. But um, functionally, uh, my concern was, can they pierce with the tip, you know, with that kind of wider blade, especially for the larger one, definitely worked. Um, the larger one is definitely, notably, let me, this is it right here, yeah. Really comfortable. When you hold that in hand, man, I that that's how I want a knife to feel when I'm cutting. So I will tell you that the smaller one is not uncomfortable. It's just that you don't, you're not getting a full grip on it. So, you know, with my pinky hanging off, I've got good, really good control. But with this one, I feel like I've got great control because my whole hand is on there. Again, large size hands in case you're wondering for comparison. So yeah, functionally, I mean, they both did the job. Really cool looking blades. Um, yeah, I mean, you're more expensive, larger, heavier, smaller, lighter, less expensive. So you're, you know, you get things you got to think about. But that being said, um, let me EDC these for a bit and then I can come back and report in on some of my experience with them. I will tell you that this one, because it is heavier and also it's the width, you know, that, that takes up a, quite a bit of your pocket right there. This is going to be, I'm pretty sure, just like a, um, I'll EDC this when I'm wearing a pair of jeans, but wearing a pair of khakis just because they're thinner, lighter material, I probably wouldn't EDC this one. I would definitely, I would. Uh, resort to this one. I would I would move to this one just because smaller, lighter, and just not as big a um, not as big a knife doesn't take up as much space in my uh, my front pocket. So like I said, we're gonna EDC this for a while, and I'll come back and report into you guys, let you know what about what I think about them with a little bit longer term use. You know, I want to say this real quick. Um, as somebody who reviews a lot of knives, e even for myself, I kind of I put a knife through the paces sometimes. I'm like. Yeah, it's a knife. It's going to cut. That's what a knife does, unless it's really dull when you get it, which even if a knife is duller than what you want, it's usually sharp enough to cut when you get it most times. But this is this to me is like an example of why we put knives through paces as, as the reviewers, because different blade styles sometimes function differently. Um, handles, how comfortable are they? Are they not comfortable? And with a huge variety of knives out there, even just from Kaiser, a huge variety of knives, if I try a knife and I'm like, yeah, it works okay, but the handle's uncomfortable, well, there's a million other options, right, that I can go to. So, um, yeah, that's why we go through the paces and test the knives out, even though sometimes I even personally, I'm like, I'm doing this knife review, I'm testing this knife out, it cuts, that's what a knife does. Of course, it's gonna cut plastic, paper, cardboard, whatever. But we start to figure out some of the nuances of different knives. So, and yeah, thanks for listening to that, and uh, I'll be reporting back in, like I said, after some longer term use. Okay, everybody, we're back again after having a little more time to use both of the uh, sheepdogs here. I've been EDCing this one in particular um, just because it is smaller and um, 
more lightweight. So I can tell you that um, I've been using this a lot to do slicing and cutting tasks, um, cutting open a lot of packages, and again, I mentioned before, but the tip of that is quite good, and because it's not a huge blade, it does allow me to slice quite effectively. So I am liking this one quite a bit. One thing I can tell you about this knife is that your, uh, your pocket clip is very, very snug. So the best way to adjust a pocket clip is not just to try to bend it when it's on the knife, but to take it off the knife, get it in a vise, and then slightly bend it, and then reattach it. That's been my experience. Um, just trying to, when you try to just bend it on the, um, on, the, on the knife when it's still attached, just tends to bend awkwardly. But that thing is quite snug. So on the positive side, um, it is not likely to just go, you know, falling off of your, uh, or out of your pocket. On the downside, I have found this pretty challenging to like take it out of my pocket quickly. Um, but overall, it's been a great slicer and a really nice, really nice knife to use. Now, one thing I want to mention about this knife and then also the full-sized Sheepdog as well is no lanyard hole. So I I don't use lanyards a ton, but if you are a person who does, no lanyard hole on either one of these knives. So just keep that in mind. Now the large size one, this one has been the most fun to flip. I just I'll just be sitting around and just flicking the knife, flicking the knife. Um, what I can tell you is that the weight is significant. I'm usually not a person who minds a heavier knife, but this one, I mean, it's, it's you know, like you saw, it's a little bit over six ounces, so it's pretty hefty. In particular, the thing that I find the weight and then add in the width, I mean, that's really wide for a knife in your pocket, so um, that's just something to be aware of. I do, I do like the knife, and like I said before, I've used it more since what you saw on camera last time, and the handle is just super ergonomic, really easy to hold. Do those uh, do those push cuts? So yeah, I like that a lot. The advantage of the smaller knife, obviously, is going to be that weight, and then just it's it's lighter in the pocket. It's easier to uh, it just doesn't take as much space up in your pocket. Bottom line. So let me just put these two side by side here, so you can see again your size comparison. There's the glare. Get rid of the glare a little bit. So that's what they look like. I mean, obviously you saw before, the uh, smaller one is notably smaller than the, uh, than the full size one. Um, I've been thinking to myself, I wonder if they're gonna eventually, um, Kaiser is eventually gonna make a fixed blade version of this knife. Just thinking out loud here, but that could be a really cool knife. Um, if they made a fix, fixed blade version, I'd be interested in reviewing it. And then that could be cool, like build that into a system, like a, you know, a, a knife this size and then maybe a larger chopper. I don't know if Kaiser has any choppers at this point, but maybe they will in the future. But anyhow, yeah, I'm wondering about if they'll do that with a um, with a full size uh, full size fixed blade like this. The other thing I can tell you about this knife though is that despite the fact that it's thick, I was working on slicing and actually was just like slicing a brown paper bag and you know just going like this on the edge of the bag and it it definitely slices, it definitely cuts. So um, despite the fact that it is a big blade, it definitely it's it, it come it came sharp and it has stayed sharp and it does slice well. One other thing I'll mention about the blades is that on both the blades they clean up nicely. I thought after using them a couple times, you know, this one's got a little bit more wear on it, but you know, some soap, water, make sure you keep, uh, keep a little bit of, um, always put a little oil on your, on your blades after you uh, use them, especially in this very humid weather we're having in New Hampshire. But um, yeah, they clean up nicely, both the blades. I was concerned, particularly with this one, the larger, because it's kind of a, I consider it kind of a classier looking knife. Um, just because of all the materials and such. So I was concerned that it was not gonna be able to clean up nicely, but it did, so that's a plus two. All right, let's hear from you guys now what you think about these two knives. Um, again, unique, they've been out for a while, you see my review. Um, let's hear your thoughts based on my review. If you own one, let's hear your thoughts as well. Would you purchase them? What do you think about the price point? Um, yeah, let's just get that, that discussion started down in the comment section. And uh, I've got links to these knives down below if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing either one of these. Um, I will tell you that um, I have seen customizations, particularly of the larger Sheepdog. A lot of people are customizing the handles and doing things with the blade. So a lot of cool options out there for people who are uh, messing around with and working on these knives. Thanks as always for checking out the videos, guys. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.